Good day grade 8. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to graph a function using intercept. And I, I already made a video about this, but I figured that I need more examples. So here, we're going to solve or find the graph of this equation using x and y intercept. And also for this equation, y equals negative x squared plus 1 so we have two examples let's start first to find the x-intercept ang kailangan natin ay i-equate si y equals to 0 kasi si x-axis ay ang x-intercept natin ay kung saan magpa-plot or mag intercept yung ating line sa x-axis at ang x-axis is located at y equals 0 Meaning, para mahanap natin yung part ng line or yung point ng line kung saan siya mag-i-intercept kay x-axis, we need to equate our y equals to 0 kasi nga, dun makikita yung x-axis sa y equals 0. Diba ito yung y equals to 0? Ayan. Nandiyan yung x-axis. So, let's equate our y equals to 0. Then, kapag 0 si y, kawa yung table, x, y. Si, ang y natin kailangan maging 0 para mahanap si x-axis. Kapag 0 si y, anong value ni si x? Ayan yung hahanapin natin. So, to find that, we need to go back to our example or our equation. y equals the absolute value of x minus 5. y equals the absolute value of x. Minus 5. Si y daw, kailangan gawin natin 0. Absolute value of x minus 5. Then, addition property quality. Add 5 both sides. Kaya magiging 5 equals the absolute value of x. At, tandaan, lagi tayo makakuha ng, sa absolute value, regardless kung anong sign ng number mo, Lagi yan magiging positive. Kaya absolute value. Absolute value is always positive. So kapag inanalyze natin, ang ating x ay magiging equal kay 5 or negative 5. Bakit? Kasi kapag, obvious naman, 5 is equal to 5. Diba? Eh bakit negative 5? Kasi nga, kapag naka-absolute value ka, kahit negative 5 pa yan, kapag ang labas ng value mo, ay positive. So, pwede kang magkaroon ng positive at negative sa absolute value. Kasi regardless, magiging positive pa rin yung sagot mo. So, ang ating value for x, kapag ang ating y is equal to 0, ay 5 or negative 5. So, we have 5 or negative 5. Plot na natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito yung negative 5 natin. I-ready ko na. Ito rin yung positive 5 natin. Next, we need to find the y-axis. Tandaan nyo, ito lang tip dyan. Kapag x-intercept ang hinahanap, gawing 0 si y. x-intercept, equate sa 0 si y. y-intercept, kabalik taran, gawin 0 si x. So, x equals to 0. Gawa tayo ng table. x, y. Ang ating x dapat maging 0. Anong bali ng y natin? Ayun yung hahanapin. Magiging y equals absolute value of x minus 5. x natin equals kay 0. Kaya magiging y equals absolute value of 0 minus 5. And absolute value of 0 is simply 0. Kaya 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So y equals negative 5. Kapag ang ating x ay 0, ang y natin is equal kay negative 5. Yan. Ito yung negative 5. Ngayon, gagawin na lang natin. Meron na tayong x and y intercept. Kagrap na lang natin. Connect lang yung points. Ito. At ito. And that's it. Ito na yung kanyang graph. So, kapag ginamit natin sa x and y intercept, hindi na natin kailangan gumawa ng table of values ng parami. Dalawa na lang na point ang hanapin natin. 
So, mas madali. Next, x equals negative x squared plus 1. At as you can see, ang, ang ating pinakamataas, ang degree natin dito, degree na equation natin is 2. Kapag ang degree na equation na is 2, meaning yan ay quadratic. Ang karagwa, kapag quadratic ang function mo, itsura ng graph mo ay parabola. Pa yung pa ganyan. Oh. Hmm. Naalala? Anyway, solve pa rin natin. X-intercept, equate lang natin si y kay 0. y equals 0. Kawa tayong table. X and y. Si y kailangan maging 0. Hanapin bali ni x. Ngayon, break tayo sa equation. y equals negative x squared plus 1. Si y daw ay 0, kaya magiging 0 equals negative x squared plus 1. Then, subtraction property of equality. Subtract tayo ng negative, ng pa. Mag-subtract tayo ng 1, minus 1, minus 1, kaya magiging minus 1 equals x squared. Then, pare lang merong negative. Pwede natin, pwede tayo mag-multiply both side ng negative 1. Pag nag-multiply ka both side ng negative 1, magiging positive, parang ganito. Negative 1 times negative 1. So, wala tayo na violate na rule kasi nga nag-multiply tayo sa dito sa right side ng equation, nag-multiply din tayo sa left. So, same pa rin yan. Magigilang yan x squared equals 1. Kasi negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. E negative x squared times negative 1 is x squared positive. Binaliktad ko lang to ha. Okay lang naman yung pagbaliktad rin. Then, get the square root. Square root ni x squared, square root ni 1. Magiging na lang tong x equals ang 1 natin is either positive or negative 1. So, we have x equals 1 or negative 1. So, kapag daw ang ating y ay 0, ang, y nat ang x natin ay pwede maging 1 or negative 1. Plot natin. Siguro banda rito yun. Negative 1 and 1. Next, y-intercept. Gagawin lang natin sa y-intercept. Kailangan kabaliktaran ng y is yung x natin. Yung x natin magiging 0. x y table ano ang value ng y kapag ang x natin ay equal to 0 balik tayo sa ating equation y equals negative x squared plus 1 then y equals negative 0 squared plus 1 magiging y equals 0 squared is 0 matitira ay 1 so, y equals so to 1. Kapag ang ating x ay 0, ang ating y ay 1. Ayan ang ating y-intercept. Plot natin, y equals to 1. Nandito yun. Kasi positive, nasa taas. Then, kapag quadratic ang ating function, ang nabubuo lagi nating graph dyan ay parabola. Paano ba mag-drawing ng parabola? Curve siya. Diba? Ito ang kanyang vertex. Hmm. Okay. So, parang ganito yung tsura niya. Ayan. Ayan. Ganda na. Ayan hmm. yung graph ng ating function. Y equals negative x squared plus 1. So, that's, that's it. X-intercept, equate lang si y kay 0. Then, solve for the value of x. Then, si y-intercept naman, equate lang ang x kay 0. Then, solve for the value of y if x is equal to 0. Ganun lang. Then, kapag na-plot na, i-graph lang natin. Same concept lang naman. Ang bago lang dito ay meron tayong x squared which is quadratic at yung kanina na absolute value ng x. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang value for x, 5 and negative 5. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.